So hello hello guys how are you doing this is Moses the Great aka the village boy himself Welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here just consider subscribing If you've been coming back to watch my videos congratulations and welcome to my youtube channel Here we educate each other here we share things to do with village life uh, Culture, food, travel and so much more So what you have to do is just uh, subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified whenever i upload a new video so today i've decided to bring to you a very interesting episode i just want to show you how coconut wine is harvested here in kenya africa so as you can see uh, i'm in a garden full of coconut trees as you can see all these very short ones are very very short uh, some others are Harvesting in a very tall coconut wine, but uh, in a very tall coconuts. But as you can see, this uh, brother here is harvesting the wine in a very short, short, short coconut tree. So, guys, look at me. <laughs> I'm so so that, but thank God I've managed to calm down uh, the tree. This is so so hard. Uh, just tell me in your village how it is done how are the people how are people saying those people who do this kind of work uh, to me it's very very hard and it needs some experience with all that you can fall from that uh, from the top to the ground and then you become nobody people just forget about you Coconut wine is a very special and popular wine here in Kenya, especially in the coastal part of Kenya. It has provided employment to so many people, both in cities and in the villages. At least a quarter if not a half of the population in Kenya have benefited from this product in one way or the other, maybe direct or indirect. Apart from putting food on the table, this product has enabled so many people to pay school fees for their children, pay bride prices for their marriages, and so much more. So this product is very respected and is helpful for people, especially people from coastal Kenya. Naro, please. Uruma. Uruma. Uh, so he's saying his name is Huruma. Uh, yeah. Oh. So he's telling us that he has been doing this work for 15 years. Now, unahenda unahenda kwa nyika ni kazi ya mtu wako ajiri ama ni minazi ya wela haya na unatengeza kazi kwa kumda. Okay. So he's telling us that uh, he's not employed. Uh, this is the this is his land, and he planted himself these coconut trees, and so he's doing his job. He's not employed. He's just employed. Uh, himself. <laughs> so he's trying to say he's trying to tell me that uh, this work is very very tiresome but uh the, the moment you know the, the, the importance of doing this work, you will never, never miss a day. You will come every day because uh, here is where you get your daily bread. So you have to come every day, thrice a day, so that you get 
uh, the required amount of the wine so that you can sell and get uh, food. Without coming here, uh, he's saying uh, you can never get something to eat. So it's tiresome, but, but again, he has to do it because it's where he's getting uh, the food. I can see that it's bees. And he's not, he's not afraid of them. I don't know why. Because they are bees. Let me show you. Kama kuhenda kitu mana mana manya na tuwa mali yeyu yu na alakala unzibu na tuwa mau mali apa wow. Ah, betangaru na hakala. Okay. Hakani kabu. Oh, so he's telling us that the bees are they are not they are very calm. All they want is the sweetness of the wine because the wine is very very sweet right now. So they are they are following the the sweetness of the wine. So they are not that. As you can see, if you if you have noticed, guys, uh, there are some uh, there are some coconut where he climbs, and uh, there are some coconut where they are very very short. So he just stand and uh, do the harvesting. So like this one here is very it's a bit tall. Uh, so he had to climb so that he can be able to harvest. As you can see. Yeah. Comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. How is it done in your village? Uh, wherever you are, just tell me in the comment section below. Is it uh, the same as my village here, or there is something different? Let me know in the comment section below. But it's a very interesting job, and people are enjoying this drink. And it's natural. It's natural, organic. Nothing. No chemicals. It's very very sweet and people are very very celebrating like the times of celebration like this the Eid the Eid uh, people are buying in large uh, quantity they go and celebrate with their families especially here in the village uh, people from the town always come to the village to buy this uh, this wine Mm. So it's very very true. He's saying it's very very true. Uh, in in times of celebration like this, uh, Christmas, Eid, Eid al-Fitri, Eid al-Barak, people usually drink a lot of wine. Uh, here in the villa, to be precise, the coconut wine. It's very very loved here in the village, especially here in Kenya. People love coconut wine because it's organic, it's very very fresh, it's pure, it's natural, no chemical. It's very very good wine. Uh, maybe I will do a video where I'll be testing, and I will tell you how it tastes. But uh, it's a it's a little bit sour and has a little bit of sugar in it. It's very very sweet and maybe you can take maybe for you to like to feel like you you, you you are a little bit drunker you have to take two bottles two bottles uh the mature wine because it takes two days to to, to mature uh from the from the coconut tree it's not mature it's not mature but if you harvest it, you have to keep it for two days, then it will, it will be mature. So if it's mature, you take only two bottles and you feel good. Yeah. So that's how we do it in the village. And as you can see, it's a very, it's a very small portion, but has a lot of coconut trees. And it's an investment for himself. He's doing this one is the business he's doing. Yeah. It's a lot of coconut trees in one portion, in a very little portion. He's getting something to feed the family and life goes on. So God has has something for everyone. You just complain there, but if you do work God is going to reward you from your faith and you will enjoy the work of your, your hand. Like our brother here is enjoying it very, very much.
so this is for today this is for today guys till next time we'll do uh, another video whereby we'll see how he mixes the wine and we'll test together uh, but that's another video so tell me in the comment section below comment and, and uh, subscribe to the channel so that we can grow this channel yeah till next time bye bye for now